First, I'd like to say, for me, it's a great honor and pleasure to be here today to give the opening lecture for this important event. Well, I will give a brief introduction, in particular on the historical developments in metrology. Then I will hope to be able to shed some lights of the role of the National Metrology Institute. I will then turn to the META Convention and the SI and look in particular at the metrological ch challenges of the 21st century. I will then discuss metrology and its role in the national quality infrastructure and turn over to the technical barriers to trade and what the CIPM MRA can do to reduce them. And then in the end, I will draw some conclusions. Well. Uh, I'm proud to be here in Africa because historically in Africa, metrology for the first time reached a very high level. That was in Egypt about already 5,000 years ago and that level of organization was unsurpassed for several thousand years because the Egyptians developed a length measuring unit, the cubit, which was the arm length uh, of the underarm of the Egyptian ruler, and it was created in granite, and then copies from that primary standards were made and brought to all the building sites in Egypt, and there from the secondary standards, working standards made out of wood were produced and given to the builders. And these builders had to join once a month and compare their wooden standard with a secondary uh, uh, stone standard in order to make sure that they had a un unified length standard in Egypt. Well, when we look into the further historical developments, the time before industrialization, practically no great progress was needed because the needs for metrology were basically for mostly local trade and for taxation and some basic engineering. 